little siblings, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So ever since I moved back to Missouri, I haven't done like a sit down video in my room and I was really excited about it because I finally decorated it. So it looks really cute. But this is like the first video in a very long time that won't have my boyfriend in it because I'm always with him. So he's just always in my videos. But for once, I'm just taking a day watching Netflix at home. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a story time today. And this one is very dramatic and very fun. It's just, it's a great time to talk about. So today I'm gonna be telling the story of how I met my step siblings, like the week we all moved in with each other and just what it was like to all of a sudden get four new siblings when I was already like 10 years old. Before I get started, I don't have a sponsor for today's video, so I'm gonna talk about my own brand. I have a clothing brand called Open Source. If you guys wanna buy some of that merch, it would be a great help. Click the link in the description to buy it today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So a little bit of a background story. When I was six years old, my parents got a divorce and I and my two brothers moved in with my dad. And we never really had like set days, like mom days and dad days. It was just like, if you wanna go hang out with mom, you can. She was always welcoming us to come stay the night there. We're always invited, but she wasn't super upset if we had planes with friends because the older we got as we became teenagers and stuff, it's like, oh, well, I can't come over on Thursday, mom, because me and my friends are going and doing this or whatever. So it's never been like mom and dad days. It's just I live with my dad. And if I want to go see my mom, then I can see her anytime I want. So personally, I would usually go to my mom's once, maybe twice a week and spend the night with her. And my brothers would come every once in a while. They'd always come hang, but they'd spend the night every once in a while because she usually only had one guest bedroom. And you know, you kind of miss your bed. So you don't want to bounce back and forth. And my mom just wanted to make it like easier on us to not say, okay, spend the night with me then spend the night with your dad. Just stay with your dad and you can just come have dinner with me. So that's about how my childhood went as far as having divorced parents. But just a side note, if anyone's wondering, my mom just moved to South Carolina, so she's not in like any videos anymore. That's why, but me and Dawn are gonna go visit her in the summer. So let's get started with how I met my step siblings. So I was 10 years old and my dad had been dating for a few years, I think, by now. So my parents got divorced when I was six and then my dad got remarried when I was 10. So to me, we all went to Disney World, which is like a crazy place to meet each other because you're already kind of just like hectic, kind of stressful, but also having like super fun. So I guess it was a good idea. But my oldest brother, Jordan, had a world's competition for cheer at Disney World. So we decided to go and they were gonna meet us there and we're all gonna meet. My first impression was I was gonna have new, two new sisters and two new brothers. And all of them were older than me except for Benji, my stepbrother. He's six months younger than me, so we're the same age. So I met them and the girl who was my age, which is Hannah, we at first did not like each other. We were like, who is this girl? Like, personally, I was like, wow, she's kind of bratty. Wow, she thinks like everything's about her. I don't know, I just like didn't like her and I don't feel bad saying that because I know that she didn't like me also. <laughs> We've talked about it. And then my older sister, Lauren, she was just so much older and I didn't really like know how to act around her. I didn't really, I don't know. I've never had an older sister. I've never had a sister before any in general. And I always told my dad when he was dating, like, whoever you marry has to have a daughter because I want a sister and now I have two, so. <laughs> so there's that. And then my brothers, I did not spend any time with them. Uh, they were just off doing their thing. It's kind of like the boys went off and did their thing and the girls went off and did their thing. Plus, I barely remember this experience at all. So let's just go ahead and hop into the proposal, the mayor, the wedding, and moving in together. So the proposal. <laughs> this is so funny. So we all, they came to visit us and I'm pretty sure Amy, my stepmom, had a pretty good idea that she was gonna get proposed to soon. They knew that they were gonna get married and so it's just like a matter of time. I go to Silver Dollar City, which is where I was vlogging in my last video. Very hillbilly place and whatever. Well, Amy, my stepmom, she's a little bit more of a bougie girl. She's like 
she's more of like a city girl than like a yee yee country girl, I guess you could say. So, um, my dad gave the ring to this guy at a magic shop, and then we went to the mag magic show, and about halfway to the show, he calls up my stepmom, she's pulling stuff out of the bag, and then she pulls out a box, and she opens it, and there's a ring in it, and then my dad goes up, and we're all sitting in the front row, and he proposes, and it was all cute, and everyone cheered, but then, my stepmom told my dad that she did not like the proposal, so he had to redo it. And honestly, that wasn't a big deal to anyone. No one really cared that he had to redo it. He didn't really care, he just wanted to get married. So he redid it on their own time at a park or whatever, just for her satisfaction. So then um, comes August. August 11th is the anniversary of my stepmom and my dad. We all go down to Texas. So I actually had to move to Texas for about eight months. It was one school year. Got there right before school started in August and left like a week after school got out in June. So we decided that we had to move to Texas because Amy needed help selling a house and my dad was, a, my dad's a real estate agent so he knew that he could help and it's just a lot easier if we were all to go down there and kind of get to know each other away from everyone and then like move back to Missouri. So the wedding. Uh, we had these bridesmaid dresses and they, I was not a girly girl at all. I've become more of like half girly girl, half tomboy. But back then I was strictly a tomboy. Like I had really like no women in my life like all the time because I didn't see my mom that often back then. And I was just always with my two brothers, my dad and my two cousins all the time. 24-7. I was very much a boy and I had to wear this like poofy champagne colored dress and I was just not really about it and then they were gonna make me wear earrings but it's family tradition that we wait till we're 12 to get our ears pierced so I didn't even have my ears pierced and so I couldn't wear those and then I had to wear this like necklace and they made me get my nails done that was the first time I ever got acrylics and I felt so weird but I remember really really liking it because I always liked princesses and stuff but never really got to dress up or anything even on Sunday at church I'd wear like the simplest dress with some sandals actually really fun for me to dress up I was kind of like freaking out how girly everything was but it was also really fun to have sisters because we all went into a room together and it was at someone's house in their backyard and so my sisters were like helping me get ready and it was the first time I really had like a bunch of girls like together other than like my cousins that were helping me get ready and stuff and they did my hair and they put on mascara on me for the very first time ever and i was like just feeling like a literal princess but i also felt so girly it was weird but we had the wedding it was about 102 degrees outside in texas so it was like very hot it was super fun and whatnot and then my parents left for their honeymoon that night my stepmom and my dad so we all went back to the house and my grandma was staying in Texas for the week to watch us. So this is where things just get crazy. Our whole family kind of realizes what we really have to like look forward to in this like family bonding, like coming together as one blended family situation. Week one of living together. We were all thrown into this house and I had to share a room with Hannah, Lauren had her own room, and then Jordan and Michael shared a room, and Logan and Benji shared a room. And if you guys know my family and stuff, then you'll know who these people are. But basically, Jordan and Logan are McGee's, and then the rest of them are Bowman's, my step-siblings, if that helps you <laughs> keep track of what's going on. We, me and my sister were bonding pretty well. We were both just like 10, 11 year olds, like middle school, awkward stage. We would like put each other in cardboard boxes and push each other down the stairs and like play hide and seek for hours. Like, Instagram had just became a thing. So we were always on Instagram. And we just like bonded over like little girl stuff basically. We had a lot of fun together and we watched H2O like nonstop together. But on the other hand, the older siblings were kind of struggling. Um, my brother Jordan did not like Texas at all. He didn't like the school that we ended up going to. And my brother Jordan actually ended up moving home back in with my mom because it was his junior year in high school. So moving away for junior year and then coming back for senior year would have been really hard for him. Week one, my grandma's babysitting. And my stepbrother Michael, I'm just gonna say step so you guys can understand, but in our family now, we don't say step or real. We're just, we're all siblings. We've grown up together. My stepbrother Michael was supposed to go to this concert with my stepsister, but he got in trouble. And so my stepsister took the parent role and was like, no, you can't go. And he was so mad that he couldn't go that he got on a longboard, was longboarding with headphones on and got hit by a car. So 
It's like three days into my parents' honeymoon. My brother gets hit by a car. He's in the hospital. They're in Alaska on a cruise. They can't come home. They don't know what to do. My grandma's freaking out. Everyone's crazy. We're all fighting. We aren't getting along as well as everyone kind of thought we would. But everything ended up being okay. He's okay. Uh, so that's kind of like the base of where our family started getting to know each other. Oh, every night we had family prayer, and so we'd all gather around this one spot in the house, like on top of the stairs, kind of, and my brother Michael would never take off this blue beanie he had. Back then, Michael was like this gangster, he did not care what the parents said type of boy. I don't really know how to explain. He was pretty just like, whatever Michael wanted, Michael wanted and he did it but he's changed a lot since then all of us have changed a lot since then so that's why i don't really feel bad talking about how like mean we were and all this kind of stuff uh so michael would never take off his beanie lauren would barely ever show up for family prayer and then someone was always fighting so that's about how that went trying to bond Let's go through real quick the first year we met each other jordan left we don't really know he was gone so see ya he'd come back and visit for like christmas and like he would come back and visit like decently like all the time. It was always really fun and he brought good energy in. Uh, Lauren was just crazy, she did whatever she wanted, didn't follow the parents rules. Michael kind of in the same situation, he would get into fights at school all the time, that kind of stuff. Um, me and Hannah were just like young and immature and crazy. Logan, typical Logan, he'd always like just break stuff because that's how he is. And he was really funny and got along decently well with everyone. And then Benji was still like really young, so he was kind of like the crybaby of the family. I was still kind of in that stage too, but I was almost out of it. And he was still kind of in the, like we say, the ginger rage stage. So that's how the whole, that's how we all fit together. Time to move home and my oldest sister, Lauren, refused. She already graduated high school, so I, she had the right to do whatever she wanted. She wouldn't come out of the house and we sold it, so she can't stay in it. But we had to go in her room drag her mattress out by the mailbox and we locked the door and we left we just left her on the side of the road i mean this was like we didn't try to do it to be mean or anything like that but like at the time like she was an adult she could make her own decision by then if she didn't want to come then we were not going to stay we told her we were leaving we told her she had an invite and she didn't want to come so we left her on the side of the road and yeah i honestly don't really know what happened i remember her coming back like few months later, I think. I don't know, I was so young, I barely remember that, but we were all laughing pretty hard and she was really, really mad, but now it's funny and we all joke about it. Then we move back to Missouri and we move into this house. At the time, me and my sister were at the other hallway sharing a room. Um, Jordan and Logan were in this room that I'm in right now, and then Michael and Benji were in the room next to me. When Lauren came to visit, she would either sleep in me and Hannah's room, or just like in the uh, theater room or wherever she wanted basically. So everything was going well once we moved back here. We all kind of started to get along better. I think it helped to have a whole new fresh start away from like all the like drama of getting to know each other and in that house and everything that we went through. So it was good to come here. There wasn't really much drama after that. Of course, there's always family drama. There was always stuff going on but we've all bonded and became best of friends. And if you guys wanna see videos of us together now, we did a sibling tag back in December. It's one of the first videos, maybe one of the only videos that all seven kids are in. So if you wanna click on that, I don't know which side it's on. I'm yeah, but it's really entertaining and fun. You can kind of see our personalities now and how we all get along. We love each other and we're all best friends. We're always here supporting each other. And I'm really thankful that I've had the opportunity to like get to know them and really just like have a whole new perspective on life because before it was just like, just me and my two brothers just chilling. And then I had to learn how to live with people that I didn't like, I didn't know. We're all really close now. That's kind of the story of how we all moved in together. We all joke that we wish uh, that we had like a reality TV show or that I had started vlogging sooner because there was so much drama that I can't keep track of. I don't remember most of it. I just remember constant like fighting of the siblings and just lots of drama between like for a long time it was like Bowman's versus McGee's and we just weren't bonding. But it's all good now and we all love each other and I'm so thankful to have such a big family and to grow up with them since I was 10 years old. It's been great. So I'm gonna get another stepsister soon. She's Logan's age, she's 21, and my mom's engaged. She got engaged in December. They've been dating for like five years, so I already think of her as my sister, but 
yeah, it's gonna be a good time, and so that means I'm gonna have eight siblings. Can't wait. <laughs> so that's the story of moving out with my siblings and all that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, it made sense. I kind of just wanted to throw out random stories about like dramatic stuff and what it was really like to move in with them. I know a lot of other people will probably have similar situations, but I feel like mine is very different just because like literally had to move. Um, we all, we all didn't like each other, and there was so many of us. So. Yeah, there's my story. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe because this summer, hopefully a lot of family members will be coming back to visit all the time and we can make lots of vlogs together. I can't wait and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.